Radio Free 102.3 KJLH Bobo. Steve Harvey Morning Show in full effect here at the KJLH Studios. Got my man, up and coming talent from LA, from South Central, our own Mr. Marlon Yates. Man, how you doing, big dog? Good, man. I'm good. How you doing? I'm blessed, man. Cannot complain. So, uh, here you got this big part, this new movie coming out, man, NWA, man. Yeah, man, it's a blessing for sure. I played the role of the DLC, man. It's cool. Legendary, man, yeah. legendary. How was that? How was working on that film? Ah, man, it was a dream come true, to be honest, dude. I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Dre, Q. That's what's up, man. F. Gary Gray, you know, Paul Giamatti. Um, just to be a part of a universal project, man, is just amazing. Yeah. So, let me ask you something. When you got that call to say you got the part, what kind of emotions went, like, went through you man like what happened it's crazy i got the call i got the, i got a text at eight like eight in the morning from gary gray himself he was like congratulations i'm like i didn't know what he was talking about <laughs> and i called him and he was like yeah man congratulations because me and gary were supposed to shoot these toyota commercials around the nation that was up but i was in miami at the time and he was like yo we couldn't make we couldn't shoot those commercials so let's knock out this feature baby and i'm like he was like congratulations man production will be calling your representative and here i am Wow, man, that's yeah. what's up. Working with the cast and the crew, like, do you have any, like, memorable moments? Without giving too much away from the movie, yeah. like, something that stood out, like, when maybe Dre walked by, I was like, oh, my God, that's yeah. Dre. Oh, for sure, I got a couple of those moments. Uh, my most memorable was I was sitting with Dre. We were, we were, we were pra practicing a scene. How about casual, you just said that. Y'all yeah. just sitting with Dre. We were sitting with Dre, he was like, so you know, you know how the doc talks when he loses his voice initially, right? And I'm like, nah, I don't. Because when I did my research, he had, like, a, it was like a, it was kind of raspy, raspy yeah. super raspy. But he said when it initially happened, it was like a whisper. And so me and Dre sitting to the side practicing his whisper together. And I'm sitting there like, damn, I can't believe it. I'm sitting there talking to Dre. He giving me pointers on how to approach this character in this scene, man. It was like, but you know, I kept my whole fan moment, you know, calm and together. You know? <laughs> I wanted to be like, yo, can we get a picture? Let <laughs> me get the selfie real yeah, quick, Dre. Get right here real quick. Yeah, yeah. So, man, coming from L.A., man, like, I'm from L.A., and I know how hard it was coming up doing this, you know, the entertainment whole thing, radio, acting, and all that stuff. Like, what would your advice be to, like, you know, the kids of today trying to come up and do the same thing? Like, what would you advise them to do? Uh, the advice, man, just go for it, you know. Put yourself out there. Know what you want. And Go after it, you know, shake hands, be nice, and just make it happen. That's what's up, man. You got any other projects you're working on, man? Uh, right now, you know, I got a couple commercials that might be airing soon. Uh, you know, I'm focused on uh, Straight Outta Compton right now, though, baby. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. So the movie comes out, what, uh, August 14th? August 14th, yep. In theater, so guys, make sure you check that out. My man Marlon Yates, man, plays legendary DOC in the movie. Check it out in theaters. It's Radio Free 102.3, KJLH.